very impressive. Leave it to hotel. So here I'm entering into a park that has some elevation. Should be interesting, not sure which one it is. I think I'm entering the youth park from the north end on the interior of that block. Don't know why it's called the youth park, but it's left very rough, but it's very pretty with these tall grasses and the yellow flowers that are most dominant, but then also these little purple ones you can see add some color. Here it looks like a nice restaurant. Apparently they either cut down a lot of trees or used them as little chairs, but this may give us a clue. At least reflects the youth image. I'm guessing that this is a woman giving a partisan a drink of water. This is the man-made lake in Youth Park, made with this earthen dam, as you can see. And hopefully it provides uh, some beauty and some recreational capability, although it doesn't look like it's been exploited very much. Beyond those trees somewhere is that Italian street that we were on earlier and we'll return to later. Nice building. Each uh, successful level as you go up gets smaller in dimension. Interesting architectural feature on top of this building. Whether it serves a function other than aesthetic, I don't know. It may be also that those color schemes are designed to break up the original communist block buildings, if you will. That may have been the original premise. Nice pretty walkway through here. The contrast between here and let's say a park in Beijing where apparently they have awesome amounts of financial resources. Standing in the rain, I stood for a long time talking to a young man, Albanian journalist who speaks very, very good English and Italian and German and probably Austrian. That's where I was standing earlier on the uh, earthen dam before I started my walk all around the perimeter of the lake, or at least this half of it, along a very lovely walkway. And this area to the left here is a running path. So what we're looking at is prehistory through uh, the present day, I'm sure. Paleolithic, Mesolithic. Everything's in the Krillic alphabet. So cannot interpret it, but I think I understand that that I think is either a mastodon tooth or something of that nature. And these may be blades. Don't know what the material is. It doesn't. Maybe it's a chert. These are probably just shards from uh, that period of uh, pottery. It is interesting. To look at the designs and understand that the person doing this was trying to be very creative for their time and their mental level, whatever that implies. And probably different, just like our artists do, searching out some novel way to represent their art. Obviously some more advanced forms, but here Looks like some figurine, perhaps, of a buffalo. You can imagine that pins like this, or awls more 
correctly called, I suspect, would have been very valuable at that time for making skins. And here's some kind of a, I think a chiseling device. And maybe it was for scooping marrow out or something else, who knows. And here the art transforming into recognizable figures or figurines, although pretty much um, modern and of course I know nothing about all these designs and so forth but colors on um, colors represent eras and I wonder if designs aren't something that are just intuitive and there's only so many that you can come up with in the medium you're working in and so they evolve the same ultimately over time in every culture who knows what this was for I'm going to look just for the interesting to me or at least the unique to me you wonder what this was a device for carrying something or burning something Here are the Neolithic, Mesolithic more. And there are some blades for sure. And you can see that they're worked on their edges. This is the Neolithic and Vone, whatever V O N E means, I don't know. Notice the simplicity, an actual pretty consistent design of this. The little ports on the side for strings that would hold this, so it probably hung either with uh, burning incense material or who knows. I haven't seen devices like this before with my knowledge. These almost ball-like devices with a hole in them. Perhaps they were used for uh, sharpening arrows, putting a tip on an arrow or something. I don't know. Some more tools. Notice how the one on the far side has a long um, intentional gouge in it probably for attaching it somehow, but it seems to be going in the wrong direction. Was this thing in the center actually part of a, like a war club? These would have been like signature wheels, devices for printing or uh, embedding uh, designs into clay, perhaps for mass producing pots or a way of identifying the person, the clan or whatever. These are probably bone tools. Maybe the one on the left is is a hoe of some sort and or a hammer. I don't know if this helmet is Roman or Illyrian or Greek. 